homeless woman describes how former NFL star Kellen Winslow too choked, threatened, and raped her. Former NFL star Kellen Winslow too drove a homeless woman he invited for coffee to a secluded road, choked her, and then sodomized her while threatening to kill her if she revealed anything, it has been alleged. The allegation was made last month by a 58-year-old homeless woman who testified in court that the former football star assaulted her. When one of Winslow's attorneys asked her on the witness stand about the ex-football star choking her during intercourse, she responded, It wasn't intercourse. It was rape. You need to use your words correctly, sir. The woman, Jane Doe II, was testifying on the morning of July 12 inside the North County Division of the San Diego Superior Court during a pre-trial hearing, according to USA Today. Winslow stands accused of raping and kidnapping two homeless women. Last month, authorities added additional charges against Winslow, accusing him of raping an unconscious 17-year-old girl in 2003. Winslow was 19 at the time. He has pleaded not guilty to all the charges. Winslow's attorneys have argued that their client paid the two homeless women for sex and that the 2003 encounter with the 17-year-old was consensual. Both of the homeless women, however, testified that they turned down Winslow when he offered each of them $50 for sex. Jane Doe too told authorities about the sex for money offered just before the pre-trial hearing. When Winslow's attorney asked why, she replied, I mean, what does that have to do with rape, sir? I'm the victim. During her testimony, Jane Doe too said she and Winslow met about eight months ago and continued to see each other periodically since. She said that the first time they met, she was walking to a homeless shelter in the town of Encinitas, where Winslow lives. She said Winslow was driving his black Hummer. He pulled the car over and offered her a ride, which she accepted. When asked about her impressions of him, Jane Doe too said he was very friendly, very nice. The relationship turned sour when Winslow offered her money for sex, she testified. But eventually Winslow worked to regain her trust by offering her money for food and asking if she needed anything. He seemed like a friendly person, she testified. But on May 13 of this year, something changed. Winslow pulled up to a transit station and asked Jane Doe to for a ride sometime between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m when he offered to take her into his Hummer and get coffee, she agreed. At that time, I felt very safe with him, she testified. But as the ride progressed, she began to worry. I just kept asking him questions and it was like he didn't want to answer, she said. Winslow then made a quick U-turn and pulled the Hummer over. At this point, the woman said she began to fear for her life. I said, no, please don't do this and I said it about four times," she testified. But Winslow wouldn't budge, saying something along the lines of it's a done deal. Jane Doe too then testified that Winslow pulled her out of the car by her wrists and raped her. She said she began to scream in pain during the assault, at which point Winslow allegedly threatened to kill her. If you scream, I'll kill you, he is alleged to have told her. Eleven days after the alleged rape, Winslow allegedly exposed his erect penis to a 55-year-old woman who was gardening. The woman said Winslow arrived by bike after riding almost 20 miles. She alleges that he was wearing cyclist-style clothing. Winslow is being charged with three misdemeanors, including one for exposing himself and two for trespassing. Last month, Winslow was also charged with raping an unconscious teenager. No other details have been released. Winslow faces two counts of burglary with intent to rape in June, with the victims being ages 71 and 86. Winslow is currently under house arrest at his $3 million home in Encinitas, California. His next court date is scheduled for August 25. If convicted, he faces life imprisonment. His father, Winslow Sr., famously played under coach Don Cor Island with quarterback Dan Fouts for the Chargers. Winslow Jr. grew up in San Diego before attending the University of Miami and getting drafted sixth overall by the Cleveland Browns in the 2004 NFL Draft. He played 10 seasons for five teams, and had his best year in 2007 when he finished with 1,106 receiving yards and was named to the AFC Pro Bowl team.
Winslow Jr. was charged with drug possession in January 2014 but received a conditional discharge after being accused of having synthetic marijuana. In 2005, Winslow famously suffered a severe leg injury while riding a motorcycle in an empty parking lot outside of Cleveland. He sustained torn ligaments in his right knee and was placed on the physically unable to perform list.